Hello friends and welcome to my channel. So in this video we are going to see how you can make a simple python game using the turtle library. So first I am going to create a python file here. And now I will just save this file in my directory. I will give it a name like game.py and click save. So the first thing I will do is simply import the turtle library. Let's close this first and let's close the explorer as well. Okay, here it goes. Let's write a comment first. simple home game in python okay now let's import the turtle library okay so the first thing i'm going to do is uh, is to create a window where we will play the game so window will be assigned to turtle screen class Of course the S is going to be in capital letter. So the window is now an object of the screen class. And now we have to get, uh, actually give some attributes to our window object. So the first attribute will be uh, title, pong game. And the next attribute is going to be uh, a setup which defines the width and the height of our window object. Okay, let's cut this out first. And now I'm just going to enter the width. So my width is going to be 800 and height is uh, going to be 600. The next attribute is window dot bg colors which defines the background color of our window object so i will set it as black the next thing is the tracer which defines the animation speed of our window okay so our window is completed now i will create a main loop to check if these codes are working and to initialize our application okay so I will write a while loop here while true set window dot update and now let's save the file first and then execute so you can see here a window with black background now let's close this okay the next thing is to create paddles so this is going to be the first paddle and this will be the paddle on left side so paddle a assigned as a new turtle object okay and now just like window I'm going to give paddle a few attributes the first attribute is going to be the speed and we will set the speed as 0 the next attribute is going to be the shape of our paddle so it's definitely going to be square the next attribute of the paddle is going to be color so I will set the color as white okay and the very next attribute is the shape size uh, from which we can define the width and the length of our paddle 
so stretch width equals to 5 and stretch length is equals to 1 okay now the very next thing I'm going to do is to give my paddle a position so go to and in the parentheses we will define the x-axis and the y-axis so the x-axis is going to be minus 350 because we want our paddle on the left side and the y-axis is going to be 0 okay so minus 350 and 0 now the thing I'm going to do is just simply copy this whole thing and create a new paddle object okay now let me just paste this out okay so I'm going to name this paddle as paddle on the right side and let's change the name of the variable so I will do a multiple selection here and now just hit the backspace and let's create a new paddle I will call it paddle B because this is on the right side now the next thing we have to do is change the position of the paddle everything is going to be same except the paddle B is going to be on the right side 350 now let's create a ball object and this is going to be a total object as well so ball in the middle now let's space this out and just like in paddle B I will do a multiple selection here and change the variable name from paddle B to ball okay everything will remain same except we will just uh, change few things here so the first thing I'm going to change is the shape of the turtle and it's going to be a circle. Next thing we have to change is the shape size. So it will be width 1 and length will be 1. Okay, so the next thing that we have to do is to change the position of the ball so it will be in the middle 0 x and 0 y let's delete this comment first let's save the file and now now we are going to execute the file here to see if everything is working as you can see there is a white line so we have to do something about this so I'm going to write here at the after shape size I will write paddle a dot pen up which will help us to uh, vanish that white line and I will do that same thing for other turtle objects as well so I can give that uh, same code after shape size on paddle b so paddle b pin up and for the ball ball dot pin up okay now let's save the file first okay now I will give this ball a dx and dy and dx and dy basically refers to the sine and cosine of the ball object so dx is going to be plus 2 and dy is going to be minus 2 okay uh, let's give it a comment first so this is sine and this will be our cosine uh, it's a little bit difficult I'm typing on your laptop okay so now what I'm going to do here is creating some functions that will 
be our event handlers. So I'm going to create a function called paddle a up, which will help us to take our paddle in the upper position. Just making sure that everything is okay and I will just copy this variable name because I want this to be exact okay so paddle a underscore up and there won't be any kind of argument so now the first thing is going I'm going to do is okay I'm sorry about that first thing I'm going to do here is to get the y coordinates of our paddle object so y assigned to paddle a dot y coordinates okay and we will increment the y adding 20 to it so the next thing i'm going to do is set the new y position of our paddle a so paddle a dot set y and in the parentheses we'll pass the value of the y and now i'm going to copy this function and i will paste this out here to create a new event handler and let's give it a name paddle b up or i guess i can just set it as paddle a down so everything uh, will remain here same except we will now just decrement it minus 20 and we will set the new position to y now i will copy this two function and paste this out here to create two event handlers for our paddle b okay so let me just set paddle a to paddle b and everything else will remain the same Okay, paddle B. Okay, so now we have to create an event listener. So whenever we click any kind of key on our keyboard, these functions will get activated. So first thing I will do is create the event listener window dot listen. And I will call up the event listener functions so window dot on key press and uh, on key press yeah and in the parentheses we will define uh, the first function which is paddle a up and we will define a keyboard uh, key so I will set the keyboard key to W for paddle a up and let me just copy everything else so now i will change paddle uh, a down to s so this is paddle a down uh, other things will be paddle b up and i will set uh, the keyboard short keyboard s up arrow key and paddle b down is going to be the lower arrow key or the down arrow key okay now i will just uh, execute this and let me check up arrow key and down arrow key and now if i press w it will go up if i press up arrow key it will go up let me close this and now I will just give some comments to my event uh, listeners. So in later future I could I will be able to remember what my functions are actually doing. So press W for left side paddle to go up. Let me just copy this. Hmm. and now 
press S for left side parallel to go down. Down. Press the upper arrow key for right side parallel to go up. Up arrow for right side parallel. And press the down arrow for right side parallel to go down okay now the next thing we have to do is to create a function that will help us to move our ball object on the screen so let me give a comment first move the ball and we will create a function named as move ball so here is our function let's write here def move ball and now uh, in the block we will write uh, something and this is actually pre-calculated so ball dot x coordinates actually set x means we are going to uh, give the ball a new x position and inside the parentheses we'll just add the x coordinates of the ball to ball.dx or the sign of the ball so ball.dx okay. and on the next line I will just okay, let me just uh, copy this so I will just copy this whole line okay so copying this and there is a problem here so let me fix it and now on the next line we will just paste this out and change the set x to set y so this will be our y position change the x coordinates to y coordinates and we will add ball.dy to our y coordinates. Now I will just call the move ball function inside my while loop. So I'm calling the move ball function. Okay. Now let me save this and run the file. So as you can see, the ball uh, floated and disappeared from the screen because we haven't set any controls so let us set some logics to control the ball and these all conditions are actually pre-calculated so if ball x coordinates actually let's start with y coordinates okay so if the ball's y coordinates is greater than 290 that's 290 then ball dot set y position to 290 and then we will just set ball dot dx multiply by minus 1 actually ball dot dy okay I'm a little bit confused here so uh, let me uh, let us stay with the dy first so ball dot dy multiplied by minus 1 and uh, now I'm just going to copy uh, this condition here and paste this out on the next line so to create a new condition so now if the y coordinates is less than minus 290 set the position to minus 290 and ball dx will be multiplied by minus 1 let's create two more conditions here so this will be for the x coordinates and instead of setting up the ball um, Okay, so this will be greater than 390 and now we'll set the new position of the ball. So ball.go to 
zero zero because we want the ball in the middle and uh, I think this will remain same and now let me just copy this and I will paste this uh, in the next line okay so if now the ball's x coordinates is less than minus 390 ball should go to 0 0 and dx will be multiplied by minus 1 so let me save this and run the file okay so I have an error here and it seems that I have a syntax error so I have to just fix these errors okay so give me some time okay so let me fix this fix this uh, okay so now let me save the file and let us check if this is working so you see you can see that ball gets stuck here so we have to change from dx to dy here as it is referring to the cosine of the ball and working inside the y coordinates so let me save this okay so let us uh, save the file and run the application again okay now you can see the ball is floating around our screen so let us close this and now we'll just work on uh, the next thing and the next thing is going to be uh, the collision detection so check for collision and uh, I must tell you one thing that this is uh, pre-calculated as well so the first thing we will do here is checking the x coordinates of the ball if it is greater than 340 and if ball's x coordination is uh, less than 340 actually 350 and uh, after that we'll create another condition here and this will be if the ball's y coordination is greater than parallel piece y coordination we have to check the right side parallel first so if ball's y coordination is uh, greater uh, than parallel b's y coordination plus 40 which means that we are actually giving more space and uh, if uh, our ball's y coordination is less than parallel b's y coordination minus 40 now I will write here ball dot dx multiplied to minus 1 and I will just simply copy this condition and I want to create another condition here for the left side parallel okay so all we have to do is to change from greater than 340 to less than minus 340 and from less than 350 to minus 350 now we'll change uh, these things here as well but actually i think this will remain same so i think this is all okay so let me save this file okay so this seems okay 
that's all we have to do so let's save the file and let's run the application okay so there seems to be an error here I think I made a error here and I can see where the error has taken place so I just write down the ball or x score but I haven't given any parentheses here so now I will just uh, give the ball uh, x coordinates by just adding the parentheses okay so now let me give this x coordinates a parentheses here same goes for the next line x coordinates and let us save the file and everything seems to be okay so this would be y coordinates let me save the file and let us run the application okay so let me check if the collision is working but uh, unfortunately the collision isn't working I think there seems to be any bug in the application. Uh, you can see that ball is goes uh, through the paddle, but it should go on the opposite side, and which is not doing. So I will have to fix the bug here. So let me first fix the bug. So I need some time to check what actually went wrong here. So guys, please stay with me. Okay, so what is wrong here? If ball's y coordination is greater than paddle a's y coordination and ball y coordination is less than paddle. Okay, so I think I have found the bug and uh, i'm not quite sure about this but okay let's first give uh, these numbers a little bit space and i will give a space here as well okay and i'm not sure but let me change uh from greater than to less than I think that is our bug so let me change this the y coordination is less than paddle this y coordination at first and if the y coordination is greater than paddle b's y coordination minus 14 okay okay let me give a space here as well and I will do the same thing in my next condition. Okay, so everything seems to be fine. Let me change the comment here. So check for the ball collision and hit the ball. Okay, so all we have to do is execute the application and let us check if the collision is working and now you can see that a collision is happening and right side paddle is able to move the ball on the opposite direction okay and that's how you have to define the collision so what should we do now Okay, so collision is working now, but there is one thing missing in game, and that is you have to define uh, a score sheet so you can see which player is winning or getting the most score. So I will just create a space here for a new turtle object. So let me it is as a right turtle and before doing that I will just create two new variables 
that we are going to use to get the score of player 1 and uh, player 2 so this will be player score and uh, this will be score underscore a and it will be assigned to by default 0 and the next variable is going to be score underscore b which refers to the same player and this will be assigned to 0 as well okay so now it's time to create a new turtle object and this turtle object will be uh, a pen uh, that will help us to write the score sheet and uh, I think this is not the right place to initialize that turtle uh, I would like to write that turtle object here okay so let's give this turtle object as a name pen and uh, it will be a new turtle object so turtle dot turtle class and this turtle object uh, will get the uh, same attributes just like other turtle objects except for a few things so pen dot speed is zero and uh, pen dot color let's set the color as white in parentheses okay, this seems to be okay okay so white and now pen dot write okay so write will be player a and we'll use the format uh, function here to place our score uh, inside the string if you know the basics of python you will understand what is uh, i'm writing here so this will be attached to the format function and inside this parenthesis i will call those two variables score a and score b and we will have to set the alignment of the text so in the second argument i will set the align uh, center so our text will be displayed on the center of the screen actually uh, we'll set this to the upper center of our screen so and now uh, in the form section we have to give some uh, information about the font like uh, font name is going to be the courier and font size is going to be uh, 24 pixel and uh, this will be normal so now on the next line i have to define where the pen is going so pin dot go to inside the parentheses we will write 0 comma 260 260 refers to the y coordinates okay and we'll call the pen dot pen up and uh, we'll also call another function called pen dot hide turtle that will help us to hide the turtle object okay so let us execute this okay there seems to be a problem here so we have to fix this okay friends just give me your time i think i have to reorder these functions in right place so i will just select this cut this out and i will set this after the go to position so pin dot height turtle pin dot pin up i think i need to do something here actually so how about hmm, this is a little bit confusing so let us take the pen first we want the pen to be pen up first then it should hide the turtle and let us take this function uh, that will 
position our text on the screen so I will paste this out here and up go to and uh, this is my right function I will just cut this out as well and I will paste this after the go to pin dot go to 0 and pin dot right now I think it should work definitely it should work and as you can see there is a test on the screen but is currently in static mode so we need to update our score sheet and the way to do that is we just have to call first uh, let me just give a comment here call updating updating score okay so now we'll write here as as the score is going to be update so score a will be up added plus one if this condition is true then first thing is uh, we'll do is clear the text on the screen and uh, create a new text on the screen so the thing i'm going to do here is just copy this line okay so let me copy this line and i will add that line here so uh, where is my line okay so yeah, yeah. It, now if this condition is true uh, this line will be executed which means that our score will be updated and uh, i will do that same thing for our paddle B which means uh, our uh, second player so this will be for the paddle on the left side player 1 and the first one was for the player B paddle on the right side so if any player uh, misses to hit the ball uh, uh, the opposite player is going to have a new score okay so now uh, let me just change this a little bit and let me save the file it should work definitely so now we're going to just execute this file and uh, okay now you can see that the collision is happening and the score is getting updated as well and that's how you can create a pong game by using just turtle module okay so that's that was all i hope you guys liked uh, the video i'm really sorry that my explanation wasn't good enough but i hope you get it how you can make a simple pong game like this by just using the turtle module so guys please subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment if you have any other project idea signing up